everyone and welcome to another episode of The Last Few Pounds. I am your gracious host, Jessie Zylia, and uh, welcome. We're going to be talking today about how to make a tofu-based queso fresco. And then if you stick around till later in the video, I will show you how to convert that super easily in one step to a creamy, decadent, delicious, super yummy cottage cheese that is tofu based, all plant based everybody, so stay tuned. If you like the fact that I am covering this little food hack, then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you like, generally speaking, to learn about nutrition that is plant-based and little hacks and tips about how to lose excess body fat and also how to basically make plant-based eating super simple without elaborate recipes, because I don't do elaborate recipes, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel because that is what I love to do. Speaking of subscribers, I have to give a big shout out and a thank you to my subscribers because I have reached 1,000. Yay! That's such a big milestone for me. I'm so excited. So thank you, everybody. First thing about doing anything that is tofu based, usually you need to drain the tofu. Now, typically you will see people give advice that, okay, you have like two plates or you have two cutting boards and then you stick some paper towels in there to line it all up to soak up the water. I have stopped doing that because I find it to be extremely wasteful. You have to constantly change out the paper towels. It's There's no reason to do that. You can completely drain your tofu without using any paper towels whatsoever and here's how. All right, we're gonna first just go ahead and drain the tofu. Just take a knife. My husband hates the way that I handle my knives and I kind of don't blame him. <laughs> so I just sort of give it like a little bit of a squeeze, just a little bit, not too much. Place the tofu in the center somewhat and I take an identical plate and I flip it this way so that I have a wider base that's kind of indented. And I put that right on top, but you need something a little bit heavier to drain out all of the water, which is where this handy dandy bowl <laughs> comes in. Over a little bit of time, what's gonna happen is that the uh, water is going to come right through on the plate. And just throughout the day, I will sort of take this all and I will tip it over the sink. The water will come out and I'll just start it up again until it's pretty dry. All right, here's the moment of treat truth. Everybody wait. 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 Okay. Yay, good job. All right, so you just wait a while and then you tip it. As Tabitha Brown would say, like so, like that. So, <laughs> I love her. If you do not follow Tabitha Brown, uh, do that. <laughs> uh, anyway, I just keep checking on that throughout the day, and um, it's it's fine. I don't have to worry about it going bad over the couple of hours that I do this. But that's what you do until you get a dry block of tofu. Okay, it's a bit later, and this tofu is ready to come up and out and into the bowl. So I'm just gonna plop it right in there. I might have dumped the water about, I don't know, four or five times and it's it feels pretty dry to the touch. I mean, yes, it's still gonna be a little bit wet, but nothing like how it was when it came out of the box. And as you can see, it's kind of you know, lost a bit of volume too. So um, it's fine, it's, it's perfect. Now we're just gonna take a fork and sort of mash it all up together. So this is pretty good. You still got some decent chunks in there, like some uh, pretty large chunks in there. That's completely fine because we're gonna end up mixing in some mixing in some other stuff. This includes one half of a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, and one tablespoon of lemon juice. 
Here's the thing about salt. My original recipe had one teaspoon of salt, but I am pretty sensitive to salt. Um, and at first that was fine, but less and less is better for me, and I still feel like this gives it a lot of flavor. Do not over salt, because you are going to regret it. Here's my half of a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of ACV, and one tablespoon of lemon juice. And then we stir and mix and mash again. As you can kind of see, this sort of looks like queso fresco. It has the, um, you know, kind of the perfect uh, look of that. And this is perfectly fine to eat as it is, but if you are on a keto protocol, you're gonna wanna add some fat. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some of the olive oil and then my special olive oil is gonna be delicious. I don't measure that, I just kind of eyeball it. If you want to convert your tofu queso fresco into a cottage cheese, you're going to have to add some fat. You can add avocado, but the problem with that is that it turns your cottage cheese green. If you don't have a problem with that, then that's a really great way to go because avocado has so much fiber, it's great for you. But if you really have a problem with making green cottage cheese, which is understandable, then you're going to want to add some olive oil. About olive oil. If you've been following me for a while, you know that typically I do not like to add oil to my food, but there are some exceptions. Now you might see this gigantic jug and think, Jesse, if you don't add olive oil to your recipes very often, why do you have the world's largest jug of olive oil? And that is because I don't live by myself. But there are a couple of tips that I also want to give you regarding olive oil. The first thing is that you do not have to buy expensive olive oil. I will buy some expensive stuff every once in a while because it's really delicious and decadent, but this is Kirkland straight from Costco. Huge jug, not very much money. If you buy olive oil, you want the cold pressed extra virgin olive oil because that makes a big difference, not only in flavor, but in terms of the nutritional value as well. Because the fact is, even though this is a fat, and so the only macro you're going to be getting is fat, you do have some micronutrients in there, including some omega-3s and omega-6s. But we all know that the cheap stuff is really gross. I'm not trying to defame Costco or Kirkland or anything like that, but it just, it's na it can be nasty. Olive oil can be really bitter, even the expensive stuff can be bitter. But I have a hack for that. As you can see, we wrote on this bottle and it says, eight rosemary, it's actually supposed to say eight rosemary and six garlic. So what we did is we used fresh rosemary sprigs and fresh garlic. You do not want to use the dried stuff. It's not going to do anything to your olive oil. When you stick the fresh stuff in here, what happens is that the olive oil filters through the fresh herbs. What it does is significantly reduces or completely eliminates any bitterness that can accompany olive oil. How long do you have to keep it in there? Well, it just depends on the size of the bottle that you have. So if you have a giant jug like this, for us, it really took three weeks to see a difference. And how will you know that it's taken effect? You will taste it. You will be able to taste the difference because now, even though I have some expensive olive oils in my house, I did not use any herbs with those. And this is actually my favorite olive oil that we have in the house right now. But you wanna make sure to keep any sort of additives to your olive oil underneath the surface of it because once it pokes through the surface and air hits it, it can become moldy and it can just ruin the entire batch. So for today's recipe, this is exactly the olive oil that I ended up using. There you have it. This stuff is delicious. If you have never tried it, try it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Obviously, it's so super simple. Very easy, anyone could do it. Let me know if you end up making this recipe. I hope that you all do and that you enjoy it. It is such a simple, easy way to enjoy tofu. Please give this video a thumbs up. I do appreciate the encouragement. Let me know if you want to learn about any other food hacks regarding any other specific foods and I will make a video about that if I can. Even if I can't, I'll learn. I'll learn. As long as it's plant-based, I'll learn. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Until next time, ciao bella.